welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum as we gradually go through, well hopefully the entire back catalogue. Is it possible? I don't know. But this one is Cave Mania, published by Atlantis Software in 1990. It's a platformer in prehistoric times, uh, also come out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64 in 8-bit land. You control a caveman, imaginatively called Ugg, uh, speak properly Nick. Uh, he's tired of his normal breakfast and he must collect pterodactyl eggs through, uh, to eat by jumping through ledges, avoiding erupting volcanoes and uh, fighting dinosaurs. So here I am with Colour Clash City. Looks like we can club downwards. There's an erupting volcano. You see our heart there in the bottom middle, say 99. That gradually goes down as we take hits. We've got a number of rocks we can fire, so do not waste them. Oh, the jumping's interesting. What's going on there? Uh, screenshots look quite good. Uh, colours are not too bad. How does it play? Oh man, I'm not digging. I'm not digging that noise of the volcano. Yeah. Hmm. So collect eggs. Now I think we've got a few screens to get by. We can climb on vines and stuff to get to different levels. Now once you collect your egg at the end, where is the? Egg? There's the egg there. Once you collect the egg at the end, you need to get all the way back to the house on the first screen or cave. If you if you don't do it, you, the egg uh, will explode and you've got to do it all over again. So on the bottom right, we've got an egg. I think you're getting the idea of this, aren't you? So we need to get all the way back. Now the enemies do regenerate. There they are. Fire a rock. Whoops, missed him. Shoot again. Right, that's him dead. Right, now, avoid the volcano. So this is what uh, prehistoric times were like. Going out, collecting pterodactyl eggs for your breakfast and getting all the way back. As I said before, if I lose a life, I uh, um, that's it. I lose the egg. Right, so we've got to get it back to home base. And uh, annoyingly, I've fallen down. Now, the jumping of this game is very annoying. It's not very precise. You see on the bottom right, the egg is cracked. So we need to go and get another one. Hooray! Stone me, he says. Will I get off level one? I do not know. So it's got a few levels on this one, as you saw from the uh, opening screen. Um, by my own low standards, the idea is just to get off screen one. But uh, the, the jumping of this game is so imprecise, man. Everything else is okay, but the jumping is not great. Don't know what other people think, but if you want to play this, let me know what you think about the jumping. We see, look at that, very unusual. Let's get an egg. It's using the magenta and red uh, colour combination, which I'm always a big fan of on ledges. Right, get all the way back, Nick. You can do this thing. Right. Strength 87. Kill that thing. No, the vines are blocking blocking my, my route forward. If only I knew a cheat so the egg didn't break, but there we go. If you die, the egg breaks. Go back to the beginning again. You nincompoopin. Now this is put together by the Shaw Brothers, um, you might know them, David and Adrian of uh, Atlantis Software, and I've died again. Um, I do prefer playing this, the graphics are always good in their games, but I do prefer Super Kid and Serious. Uh, Serious was just like a, an Exelon clone of sorts, so um, yeah, have a look at that one. We have reviewed it a little while back. Why is the caveman called Ugg? Now when it comes to favourite caveman games of all time, I have to go to the Amiga and check Chuck Rock. That one didn't come out on the spectrum, as far as I'm aware. Um, terrible, um, terrible prehistoric games on the spectrum, I suppose, is the Flintstones, where there's a level you just paint a wall. Uh, and also Renegade 3 had a, a Stone Age bit at the start. But there's some good ones as well, but uh, for some reason, only the bad ones are sticking in my brain. Right, we got an egg safely back. That's good, isn't it? So we just need two more, and then it's the end of the level, and then um, we go to the next level, and it's the same sort of idea, but just a little bit more complicated. Great stuff, sort of. So, as a kid, if I'd um, bought this, because that's what the reviews are all about, not uh, expert gameplay, just get a bit of an idea what your first or second go, oh man, would have been like. Would you have been in Frustration City? Would there have been enough there for you to want to go back? Now, it's a little bit of Frustration City, just because the the, the jumping mechanism on this I think I would have gone back to it a few times, though you couldn't really call it a super stellar game. Uh, there's good elements. I mean, the animation's good, the graphics are good. I just don't like. I just don't like the movement of the guy that much. It makes it when you when you um, want per perfection to get things back in a task to be let down by dodgy controls isn't isn't great. It's like uh, trying to type a novel on a keyboard where half the keys don't work properly, or if you hit an E, sometimes X will come up. Very annoying. I don't know if you've ever tried to do that, but anyway. Or been in that situation. Let's get egg two back, hopefully. There we go. Right, two eggs are back. Don't say I'm going to do this. I might do this. Right. One uh, one le egg left to get, and then that's that we're there, aren't we? 
not quite sure how many lives we've got. We've only got 24 rocks though. So don't shoot them at a abandon. Oh no, get in the way. There we go. That's that dinosaur dead. I don't know if you know in prehistoric times, it didn't show it in Jurassic Park, that dinosaurs quite often walk backward and forward on a, on a red and magenta ledge. Best to hold back when the volcano's going off rather than walk through it, but you know that, just like in real life, if you've got a volcano at the end of your street, you might have one that you've made yourself when you got bored in the coronavirus. Oh look, look I'm just wasting it. Oh, oh, that's good, you can land on him. You lose a bit of strength for doing that. Let's get the last egg. There we go, so it's game on now, isn't it? It's game on, what could possibly go wrong? It's Bonanza. It's not very prehistoric. You can do this, Nick. You can do this. Right, get that right. Yes. Right, just one jump left and it's uh, good stuff. Wait for this volcano to stop erupting as it does every day. Oh, yes. He's done it. That's level one. Island hopping, collect collect wheels for bonus score. Right, I think we've got um some sort of mini game now. I think. Not that I've ever been here before. Right, okay, so collect these wheels. There's a bat thing there. Not to get confused with bat think. There's two wheels got. Can we shoot that? Oh look, he's take oh look, he dropped me into the drink. Right, so that bat thing looks a little bit like oh man, looks a rem bit reminiscent of the thing from Ghost and Goblins. Can pick you up and drop you into the sea or to your death. Which is not very friendly. And I've I've got nine rocks left. Oh, be good if I could kill that fella. Or jump on him perhaps. Good, right, good. There's another wheel. Really good. Boo! Great sound effect. Right, so, level two. I think there was nine levels there, wasn't there? I counted. Right, so we're in our cave again. Home sweet home. I've got to jump over this fire with a black box around it. Have we done that? No. Oh, no. That. Now, this is going to be my bugbear now. I would have played it up to this point, and oh, I've, I've regenerated in the fire. This thing that picks you up and just drops you somewhere, he is blooming annoying. That is really annoying. Right, I've got five rocks. You've got to kill him, or else it's 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 wasted time. Oh, look. Now, I'm going to try. I, I won't do swearing, because that doesn't happen on this channel. Sometimes I say the word nincompoop, or heck or darn. Uh, in the YouTube algorithm now, you have to declare these words as light profanity. Yes, that's true. It does include heck and darn. So if you use the words heck or darn anywhere in the video, you have to declare it as light profanity. I know, ridiculous, isn't it? And it's bundled in. It's bundled in with uh, heavy profanity as well. I, I don't make the rules. But if you're forced to it, then um, yeah, don't do that. Oh, curses, 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 curses. I don't think that's a curse word, curses. Right, he's disappeared this time. Right, now there's this fella. Um, don't know what he's doing. Right. Right, I'm running it. Oh! It's level two, I have to admit, is not going as good as uh, level one. But look at, look at the graphics though, they are jolly nice. Pity about the gameplay. But, uh, you know, I think, um, I think a kid of just as there are only few games, I think they could have gradually got used to this. I mean, it's not as hard as some some uh, Spectrum games that are ridiculously difficult. It's got a nice cartoony effect. Red berries, that's energy. No, we've got one egg, because we're a good egg. It's fairly easy to work out what's going on. Again, the jumping is very imprecise. And that bat thing again. Oh, he falls down to his death. Hmm. Right, so that's you need that. Don't walk off the screen and go back on again, because that bat will regenerate. So it seems like there's about three or four screens in each level. Do a proper jump. There we go. Right, so it's off screen one. Can we get back to base? Oh no, see, look. See, I told you, if you go off the screen and back again, he will regenerate. And that's pretty troublesome, troublesome if you've only got five rocks left. Oh, Nicky. Right, now now the game's starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Is it addictive? Well, I would, not really. Um, I liked seeing it for review purposes. There he is again. And uh, I think I lost my egg. The egg broke. Oh, gold. And then we've got uh, all the way back again. <laughs> yeah. It is, it's, it's getting a little bit torturous now. I'm not sure how many... I think um, we keep going to the hearts down to, to zero, perhaps. And that thing picks us up again, picks us up again. 
Oh, it must be. I must have us on the strings or something. And I haven't got any rocks left, so I'm gonna have to try and club him somehow, or it's doom. He flies us over a volcano. Hasn't this back got anything better to do? He should get himself a hobby. Starts up stamp collecting or something. Boo! No wonder caveman times were so tough. I'm glad I wasn't there. I don't think their broadband was particularly good either. Maybe they had dial-up. Now, now I'm, I'm getting really frustrated now. I, I was letting a few frustrations go, but I'm getting incredibly frustrated with this thing. So how could this game be better? Make the jumping more precise, get rid of this bird, and he's dead. I've been fossilised. Well, that's not good, is it? So I'll probably end up on some of those, those, one of those time team programs where they bring out a fossil of me as a caveman. Hmm. Right, let's enter our name in the, in the score, things. Yeah, well anyway, I hope you liked having a look at that. It's a good game, but it does have its flaws and it's frustrating. I don't think I would have gone back to it too much as a kid. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Cave Mania, a great sounding name, of course, published by Atlantis Software in 1990. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than, more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.